Moms and dads, I'm giving you the opportunity to vent. Listen, we are not coming down on Halloween, all right? If you enjoy the holiday, more power to you. If it's your jam, that's awesome. This is not what that's about. What I want to vent about is the expectation for parents these days when it comes to holidays and um, specifically Halloween and fall festivities. one 855 Burt Show, 855 855- Two three seven eight seven four six. Because what I want to know, did our parents do this stuff and go above and beyond for us when we were kids and we just don't remember it because we didn't have adult brains and we didn't realize how much, I don't want to call it a hassle, but how much work it is. Because as a parent in 2023, and mind you, I just have a two and a half year old And maybe it's social media that has put these unprecedented expectations upon us, but I can't keep up. There is too much to do. There are too many trunk or treats. There are too many pumpkin patches. There are too many Halloween parties. You have to have a specific Halloween costume for school, and then you're going to have to have another Halloween costume for the night. We, we went and got pumpkins, but we haven't had a chance to carve them yet. Oh, and then don't forget about now people want to pick apples. So we have to go to an apple orchard and do that too. Oh, don't forget about the petting zoos. You have to do the petting zoos. And then because I want to feel like I'm an involved mom. Yeah, it's my fault. I own it. I volunteered for the Halloween party. So I had to go get party favors for the, for the kids. And I also had to get treats for the kids, right? It's too much. <laughs> I'm tired just listening to that. It, it's, it's, so what I seriously want to know are fall festivities and Halloween just, are they on crack this year or has it always been like this? I feel like it's, uh, we didn't do this stuff when I was a kid, but maybe it's because of where we lived or my parents being British, it's probably that one. But I cannot tell you the weird panic and failure I felt as a mother when last weekend I realized we hadn't gone to a pumpkin patch. It was like two weekends ago and we weren't going to be able to go because our weekends were tied up. I was like literally looking at rearranging schedules and stuff so Same. we could go to the patch before I stopped myself and said, um, they're not going to even remember. Who cares? We can pick up a pumpkin at Home Depot. Yep. It's fine to skip. But I felt this like w- weird failure and I hate it. The guilt that we didn't make it out to some pumpkin patch and BFE with all like the bells and whistles. And we just went to a garden center and got our pumpkins this year. Like I, I did. I felt like I was, I was failing in some way. And then FYI, we don't have a jack and lantern this year. We don't either. We didn't have any time to carve crap. No, <laughs> I know. Ugh, you're you a bad mom, the, Kristen. Do you know the failure I feel as a mother? You should. Feel, you should feel that stab way. Stab a knife into a pumpkin. Do you know how relieving that would actually feel if I could like put a knife <laughs> to a pumpkin right now? Uh-huh. All right, Sydney. Welcome to the Burr Show. Thanks for joining the conversation. Would you like to be a part of our fall vent line? Absolutely. Go for I it. did not have Halloween growing up because it was my dad's birthday. So we always celebrated my dad's birthday and we never did anything. Well, now that I have three kids of my own, it has been a whirlwind of news for me, even as like a 20 year old when I had my first son, new Halloween, you know, new tradition, starting it with my family. But then again, this year, everything has been so fast and so rushed that I feel like we haven't been able to do anything. We haven't been to the pumpkin patch. Mm-hmm. My five year olds asked me, are we going to carve pumpkins? So I literally went to Walmart and got pumpkins and let them paint them because I was not giving my three year old or one year old a size <laughs> to carve pumpkins. <laughs> But I also, you know, just picked up on things. My husband's been working a lot because the plants around here are having a lot of overtime. And so he's been working and the stress has fallen on me as a mom. Yeah. And it's just, it's a lot to do. Pumpkin patches, all these fall festivals happen on the same day too. How are we supposed to make it to six of them? Yep. I know, girl. same day. And, And three kids, five, three, and one. Like that's enough in itself to have... three kids at five different fall festivals in one day and then my parents don't celebrate it so it's not like my parents are going with me to help so it's definitely been a whirlwind and I think $45 for one costume is kind of ridiculous I hear you I'm glad you were able to vent Sydney Trina welcome to the Burt Show go ahead and get those vents out I love Halloween. I absolutely love it I'm a big dress upper I love it especially since I've had kids but this morning, I woke up at 3 a.m., and while trying to move into the new house, go to the pumpkin patch to do all the halloween stuff, I realized at 3 o'clock this morning, I had not made treat boxes for my daughter's class. Mm. 
So I've been up since 3 a.m. making treat boxes, and I still didn't get them finished until 8.30. <laughs> wow. I'm, hopefully you feel a little better that you got to vent. Paula, welcome to the Burr Show. Go ahead and get that vent out. Oh, my gosh. You think it gets better when they get to be teenagers, but it doesn't. I have three uncarved pumpkins driving around in the trunk of my car because we haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> <laughs> right? So what am I going to do with three very large pumpkins that took her... At 30 minutes to pick out that we never got a chance to carve. Yeah. But it's a catch-22, right? Because she's 16, but you still want her to be a kid, so you want to engage these things. Yeah. But you were done with this when they were, like, six. So for <laughs> 10 years, I've been like, yay, she's going to be a teenager soon. We don't have to do this anymore, but you do. Yeah. So it doesn't get better. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's that. Yep. The Burt Show.